when I'm here playing this open guard, I either want to have an ankle or my foot connection here on his hip. So now whenever I start chasing that far leg here, here, so I, I have this near leg and the far leg. So if two tries to run away, it's not going to be as easy as if I just commit to that far leg. If I just try to chase that far leg, come here, and I commit both my hands here, now when two steps back with this other leg, exactly, it makes everything a little bit harder and he can knee slip. So point your knee and run. Yeah, exactly. So what I want to do is maintain control of this near leg as I chase the far leg here. Now, as I start to pivot, he reaches for my head. Now we're in the same position that we just did. I'm going to start threatening this arm. And he's going to feel this and he's going to posture up and rip his arm out. As he rips his arm out, my outside leg is going to swing around the hamstring. And now my hands that were on his knees are going to go to the Achilles and the big toe. I like this big toe grip because it keeps the rotation uh, a little bit more controlled for me. So I can hug his, his ankle to my chest and I'm going to open up and I'm going to put him down to his hip here. Now, once I'm here, my top leg, I'm going to hook behind his top leg. So now that stops his rotation from trying to hide his heel. Now to catch the heel, I'm just going to grab that big toe, tuck it in my armpit, hook the heel with my wrist, and now I can use my free hand to help me bend the leg as we go for the finish. Near side leg, far side leg, I kick around, he tries to block, I go for that arm, he rips it out, chop the back of the leg. Now I go Achilles and big toe. If he stays right here trying to run away, I'm just going to hook the back of his hamstring and we'll finish from here. But most likely he's going to try to rotate, yeah exactly, and we put him onto his butt. If we keep rotating, I'm going to mount his hips. And I finish on top. If he stops right here and tries the hand fight, we finish on our side. <clears throat> Do you want to see that? <clears throat> I have that far leg blocking his hip. I scoop the near side knee and the far side knee. Now I'm just pivoting around for my K guard. He's going to block me. Reach for my hip. Now I go for the arm, he th he's threatened, he rips it out, chop the back of the leg, I go Achilles and big toe. Right here we can go for the finish if we want, or I just finish rotating as we go for the finish. Now, for the people that aren't allowed to do heel hooks in competition, if you just want to take the back from there, you can also just take the back, right? So that's also another good option from here. <clears throat> Whenever I chop the back of the leg here and he tries to run away, we can find what's in the back. All right, I'll walk around and help everybody. Ready? One, two, three. So you want to tuck it to the other side. Yeah. Keep it right there until you're ready to mount his. Oh, no, no. Like bring it over this way as you rotate that way. Yeah, so go, start over, start over, start over. <laughs> so this bottom leg has to hook behind his leg here first. Your right leg, hook behind, yep. Now pull his whole knee line through here. You want his knee to fall in front of your hip. Bend his leg here, drop it in there, bring all the way to the side, there we go. Now, take this leg here, here, and now reach with this leg, and curl it to you. Exactly. And now one more reach, one more reach, and curl. Exactly. You see how everything's tucked away now? That's good. Now you're ready to finish. Try not to put it in the pit of your elbow. You want to catch with your wrist bone. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then be ready to tap as the uke. <laughs> uh, let me do it to him real quick. See how my hips are 
elevated. Right. Yeah, so now he has to react, right? If I'm flat like this, there's no need for him to react. He can limp leg out, right? There's no tension on his leg. Frank this, can mm -hmm. you, uh, yeah, work so the keep the Achilles yeah. with this hand okay. and the big toe with your other hand. Okay. So that whenever you keep it in the center of your chest here, because in the beginning it's not just going to go all the way there, right? So he's going to try to turn and hand fight with you. Exactly. So now you tuck it away to your armpit. Exactly. And now right here, use this hand on the mat to help you lift your elbow and slide it towards your hip. And that's going to create a bend in his knee. You're going to go to your shoulder though. But no, no, tuck your elbow. You got to tuck your elbow in. There you go. Mm -hmm. Now head down, head down. And now that's where you're going to finish. Raise your hips off the mat slowly. Slowly. There we go. That's it.